What would you say is the most recognizable VFX technique? Of course, green screen or blue screen. To begin with, uh, just in case you didn't know, uh, green and blue screens are used in production to be able to quickly cut out subject from their background and compose them on top of something else. This allows us to put real people into unreal environments. In order to understand why this technique works so well, let's use the help of a color wheel. Human skin tones naturally does not contain any green or blue colors in them. Uh, skin tones lives in this part of the color wheel. Greens and blues lives on the opposite side of the wheel, so when we're excluding them from the shot, we're not affecting skin tones. Theory sounds awesome. I wish it was that simple on the practice though. So why choose one over the other? This time let's check the color spectrum chart. The luminosity of green color is much stronger than any other colors. Digital cameras record green much brighter and cleaner. One of the main challenges with this technique is to light your background as flat as possible to avoid any tonal variations of the color. The main benefit of green screens is less complicated lighting rigs. Green is quite forgiving if you don't have the perfectly flat background. But as green is so powerful, uh, the light spill on your subjects is more pronounced. It may result in difficulties during keying and color grading. To avoid aggressive color spill, you may want to put your subjects as far away from the background as possible. The blue color is less powerful luminosity-wise, therefore produces almost no color spill, which may help you with a more detailed key. But it's much harder to light blue screens. You would need much more powerful light panels in order to get blue screen evenly lit. Less luminosity and less color spill helps with things like hairs and subject edges, which is really important for the quality of your key. Whether you should use green or blue screen depends on what kind of shot you are trying to achieve. Considering all the stuff I already told you, the green is a cleaner color and doesn't need as complex lighting setups, but spills a lot of color and may result in bright edges and different artifacts. All this makes green perfect for shots featuring bright backgrounds daylight scenes. Bright edges would be less noticeable and you don't have to worry that much about the details. If you would try to place the same subject into dark scene, you would have to spend significantly more time to make it look acceptable. It doesn't make green screen unusable for dark shots, it's just not the best choice. Blue screen is perfect for dark shots. It doesn't spill that much color on your subjects, therefore you have darker edges. This is pretty much all you need to know about green and blue screens. And this is all I wanted to share with you today. The process of keying tips and tricks are coming in a separate video sometime soon. I want to share some tips I practice on set as a supervisor because I think it's really crucial for a lot of DPs and everyone being on set to know a lot of stuff about green screen in order to make all our lives easier. Stay tuned, see you soon. Peace.